welcome back to my channel um i am back today to do my 28 and 29 week um pregnancy update so um from my last update that friday i actually woke up with like a lot of um cramping and so it like so I thought maybe it was my back so I went to the chiropractor and um it helped for a little bit but then when I me and my husband went out for lunch and I could barely eat and so I went home laid down for a little bit took a hot shower um and I laid down couldn't really sleep at all and like early the day before I couldn't really sleep I slept maybe like two hours that and that's like pushing it um so I ended up calling texting my mother-in-law and was like um could you take me to the ER labor develop labor develop uh, labor delivery and so she took me and um, I went, they put the little sensors on my belly, the heartbeat things, and then they checked my blood pressure and, um, and then they did a urine sample and all that stuff. And then, um, the doctor came in and she's like, where is it? Her and I showed her and it was like right above my belly button. And so she was like, it's probably let, and she touched my belly and she's like, oh, that's his feet. So that's probably why it hurts is because he moved position. And also if you're constipated, um, it hurts a lot worse. So, um, yeah. So I, they gave me an anti-acid pill. So I went home and I took another shower. Just the steam of the shower makes me feel better. And so I um, laid down um, with them giving me the antacid. It helped a little bit. And then I laid down and then my husband left for work. And for some reason, I don't know, I woke up in the middle of the night. And I don't really remember, but I somehow we have a heater because um, in my mom's house, the level that I'm on doesn't really heat. So we have to have a, like a room heater in there. So, um, so I ended up laying near the heater and I had a pillow that was on the floor and yeah. So that next morning I slept like a baby that whole night. Um, and so that next morning, um, I went down to the Dollar General with my little sister and I picked up an anti-acid, um, liquid. That's what the, um, doctor said on the labor delivery, the midwife. And so I picked that up, took a little bit of it and then lay down. I went over to my mother-in-law's and we, me and my husband, we had dinner with his mom and his stepdad. And so the next day I felt totally fine. Um, I, that whole week I had like nausea, constipation and that kind of stuff. And, um, that next week. Tuesday, so when I was 29 weeks, um, I had an appointment with, um, my midwife, um, and before I had the appointment, um, my previous appointment, they told me my next appointment before I come in to go have blood work and my doctor's office is in the hospital so I can just go over to the lab right before so I did and um then went over to my appointment and let me just say I was a bit irritated only because 
um, waited like a good hour just to see the midwife and it was just annoying. Um, that next morning, um, I went down to the Dollar General with my little sister and I picked up an anti-acid, um, liquid. That's what the, um, doctor said on the labor delivery, the midwife. And so I picked that up, took a little bit of it and then lay down and went over to my mother-in-law's and we... Me and my husband, we had dinner with his mom and his stepdad. And so, the next day I felt totally fine. Um, I, that whole week I had like nausea, constipation, and that kind of stuff. And, um, that next week, Tuesday, so when I was... 29 weeks, um, I had an appointment with, um, my midwife, um, and before I had the appointment, um, my previous appointment, they told me my next appointment before I come in to go have blood work in my doctor's office is in the hospital so I can just go over to the lab right before so I did and um then went over to my appointment and let me just say I was a bit irritated only because um waited like a good hour just to see the midwife and it was just annoying um so I didn't really gain any weight within the two weeks and she came in and she's like, um, your iron is really low, is low, it's not super low, it's like 10.9 and we like to see it at 11%. And so she's like, you're going to have to be put on an iron supplement and I said okay and she measured my belly, checked his heartbeat, his heartbeat was 139 to like 143 and then, um, she measured him she said he's measuring what he was before so he's a week behind and um so she's like just take the iron pill two times a day and in like four weeks we'll check your iron again to see if it's um normal and she's just just said to eat um foods that have a lot of iron in them to help with that also and she said that might be why you have such severe um heartburn is because of your uh um iron being low so i ended up um going to pick up the script and it was only a dollar it's actually over the counter so my husband just got it at um, his pharmacy that is by his work so um took that and um symptoms I just can't get up on the bed it's just it's just crazy um lower back pain a lot um I'm not used to having a belly so um either I have to hold on to something like from turning left to right side and if now it feels better to lay on my left side than it is on my right side so I sleep like that and a symptom that was like it comes here in there um, is I feel like I'm getting punched in the vagina um it's just I comes out of nowhere I'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden I feel like I get punched and it, it's just like a ah, la 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 and all of a sudden it, there we go so um that's all I really have to update on I do feel him move a lot and like sometimes he's hiccuping and um some days I feel like I can't fall asleep 
because of that, but then there's other times that I'm totally fine. Um, cravings, I, for a while I've been craving chicken nuggets. It doesn't matter where I get them. I crave them, and like last week I was craving McDoubles from McDonald's. So, um, and I try not to eat, uh, fast food, um, that often, but I definitely can eat a lot more, and, um, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys, um, I'm 30 weeks almost, I'll be 31 weeks tomorrow, so I will be doing an update, um, in a couple days doing 30 and 31 so I will do a belly shot then but um thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video